Hello everybody. Okay, so today we are going to put a 3D model. Finally, we are going to put a 3D model on top of our image target. So, how do we do that? The first thing that we need to do is to download Wikitude 3D Encoder. So, let's go and search for Wikitude 3D Encoder. And we download the 3D encoder. You can go to the tools section. They put it there. So 3D encoder for Windows, download that one. If you are using Mac, you should download the Mac OS X version. So now since we are already a customer for Wikitude Studio, so we can just close this one. Okay, so we are done with the downloading part of it. So let's extract the 3D encoder. And run the setup. And you know, just next, 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 next. Yes. And we are done with the 3D encoder setup. Okay, nice. So this is the Wikitube 3D encoder. But wait, we don't have a 3D model. And chances are, if you are a beginner, you also don't have a 3D model and you do not also possess 3D modeling skills. So where do we get all these 3D models? Well, let me show you where. You go to a website called CG Trader. Why CG Trader? Because not all 3D models can actually fit into augmented reality. Most of the time with mo most engines, it's more of a low poly model that would actually work well. So then you take free. And you can see some of these free models. So I will be I would like to use the mushroom collection. So I would then download. Bear in mind you need to first register to cgtrader.com. But I have already registered so I can complete I can download it immediately. So I'll download that. So what we do next is to open up Wikitude 3D encoder. Press this button choose your 3D models. Now, sometimes when you download from CG Trader, there will be the low version and the normal version. Usually the low version loads faster, so I use the low version. Sometimes there are some warnings because some of the features are not supported. You can refer to the Wikitude, you can refer to the Wikitude manual to find out what is supported and what is not supported but it doesn't really matter you can now see okay this is my 3d model that i want to put in so i will just press the export button and we call this mushroom now let's get back to wikitude studio and we create a 3D model augmentation. So, well, that's nice. The first thing that you notice is that there is this red thingy here. Similar to the image version, you need to put in your 3D model. Okay. Now, we have uploaded the 3D model, but why are we just seeing a box? Well, inside Wikitube Studio, the 3D model is represented by a box, but later on in the preview, you will then see the real 3D model. Let's play around with the 3D model scale. Of course, you cannot see it here, but if you set your 3D model scale to 1, it will appear normally if you put it to it will become bigger or if you 
slide it lower, it will become smaller. You can always preview that inside your preview window later. Tilt rotation allows you to rotate the 3D model. So you can see top, back, I want, but I want the front to be facing me. Heading rotation, you can rotate the object. You can rotate the 3D model as well using the heading rotation and roll rotation. Horizontal position, this is the horizontal position adjustment and vertical position to adjust the vertical position. Alright, so let's leave the settings at that and let's preview. So, so let's preview this and let's see what happens. So when I show... Ah, look at that. That's the 3D model. And there it is. Bear in mind that if your 3D model is a bit bigger, it will take a little bit more time for it to load, which is why I'm recommending you to use low poly 3D models. So that is all for 3D models. I'll see you later for video and also HTML augmentations.